a lot of ground to cover. True, but unlike your boy Asav, we've got an advantage. The three symbols. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, let's see. We are right about here. I can mark it up as we go. Check out that tower. Bet you could get the lay of the land from the top. Maybe. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for us off. Perfect. Not that I'm too worried about him. Though. You should be. We won't have the advantage of surprise again. Don't think he was expecting much from you. Wait, was that a compliment? That, that sounded like a compliment. His guys are idiots, but a solve is... We just need to stay the hell away from him. Never understood the appeal of people like Asav. Easy. He finds men who are weak and offers them power. Sorry, what? I need a moment. We were talking about... What were you saying about Asav? Oh, right. Asav finds men who are weak and offers them power. Gives them purpose. Purpose? Sounds more like bullshit to me. Where are you going? Want to climb it with me? I really want to, but... Uh, someone should keep watch for Asav's forces. Good call. So far, so good. Here's our three symbols. Well, that took less time than I expected. Let's see here. Aimed right at those Hoysala ruins. It's an old fortress, just beyond those waterfalls. Trident mark on the map for you. And behind door number two. Huh. Wonder what that could be. For future reference. Let's see what's behind the axe door. Another old fortress, tucked into the mountainside. I'll just mark that on the map, with an axe. Last but not least, the Bodor. And another old fortress, sitting smack dab in the middle of the lake bed. I'll jot a bow on the map in that spot. Whoa! 
guess I should have looked for a call button before climbing up. Was it worth the climb? And then some. Found the three symbols. Really? Yep. Each one was pointing towards a different fortress. Those will be the best places to look. Perfect. How'd you get tangled up with the Sarv anyway? Purpose? Rather not go into it. He certainly seemed to have a thing for you. Don't remind me. Proved useful at the time, but... Yeah. Uh, do tell. Rather not. Maybe over drinks? Not enough alcohol in the world. Right, you're the military expert. What's Asav's strategy here? He spread out his men, hoping to stop us in our tracks. Oh, hold on. Be careful. That place is crawling with rebels. Well, here goes nothing. Mm. Shit. What was that? Pick it back up? You were saying something about Asav? Um, yeah. So anyway, he spread out his men, hoping to stop us in our tracks. Not what I would do. So what would you do if you were Asav? Besides lose the beard, hang back, let you do the heavy lifting, then swoop in and grab up the task once you've done all the hard work. Devious. Practical. Mitigates a lot of risks. Lucky you're on my team. Yeah, you are. I'm a little surprised Assault's not doing the same thing. Maybe his expert knows more than we think. Right. All the more reason to wrap this up quickly then.
one of Asov's trucks. Looks clear out here. Interesting circular motif. Like the disc. We're definitely in the right place. Check it out. It's Ganesh's trident. Matches the symbol in the tower. Ganesh. Remover of obstacles. Is the gate secure? Not yet. Waiting on Cobra 8. Copy that. That's a lot of them. You all right? I'm fine. <laughs> Apart from working for a reckless treasure hunter. Okay. Where to next? Good question. Let's explore. <laughs> what do you suppose this place was? Hard to say. A fortress? Not the right layout for a temple. What's this? I don't know. Seen a few of them around. Okay, that's not it. No, this. What's the trick here? What? Look like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. Here goes nothing. That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. You. That's two. Hey, here's another. I'll get it. Found you. <clears throat> Only one left. Last but not least. That should do it. Okay. Back to the big wheel thing. Big wheel thing? Whatever the archaeological term for it is. Mm, the big wheel thing works.
come on. Looks like we're going under. Adio. <laughs> Here we go. Well, looky here. What are you willing to bet? Told you it's some kind of key. Gold star for you. Now let's see what it does. What is it? Ancient porcelain jigsaw puzzle? Ah, of course. I'm making a trident. Ganesh. Hello, sir. Now what? Now I guess we turn this crank and see what happens next. You think it's safe? You know that treasure hunting is not a good gig for the risk of us, right? Neither is being a mercenary. Difference is when I pull the pin on a good night, I'll know what's going to happen next. My way's much more fun. <laughs> Did you hear that? You feel that? Fraser. Mm -hmm. mm. huh. Look at that. Holy hell. There's a massive relief carved into the side of that mountain. And you were worried that we were going to turn that crank and die. Guess it's good I've got an archaeologist's daughter with me. It must have been fun growing up, eh? It had its moments. I learned a lot. Oisalar Empire was kind of his thing. Took up a lot of his time, though. Me, if I go. Digging for treasure, we better make a buck or two. Oh, sure. I don't take big risks without a good payday. I imagine so. Like running an army, huh? That's a big responsibility. Second nature. It's my father's company. He retired, I took over. Family business? Mm. Made a real mess of it. Well, you should know. Heard you and those Drake brothers are close. Yeah, well, it's a conversation for another time. So, where to next? There's the fort marked with an axe on the mountain there, and that fort marked with a bow in the lake bed. I suppose I should have asked about the Drakes before I took the job. Not much to tell. I know Nate pretty well, Sam less so. He seemed to just appear out of thin air. Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought MREs. You're no fun.
All right, we're clear. For real this time. You handed yourself on. All things considered. All things considered. That's high praise coming from you. It is. Mountains and make them. Yes and yes. Hey, just so you know, Nathan Drake is no longer in the picture. You don't have to worry about it. I had my concerns. Why do you accept my offer? I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth. Especially with everyone wanting to see me fall. I hear that. But on the plus side, oh, there's a plus side? Oh, when people have low expectations, it's much easier to take them by surprise. As far as I'm concerned, this business is tough enough on your own. You have to take any advantage you can. You always worked alone? Mostly. How old were you when you started? Young. Learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were getting their way, and then I could get the upper hand. Too subtle for me. I always prefer the direct approach. Yeah, whatever works, I say. It's compromised. This should do the trick. Look up there. Parashurama's bow. Spotted this on the tower, too. So, Parashurama. 
Parashurama. Parashurama. Who was he again? Okay. Six avatar of the god Vishnu. A fearsome warrior. Right. So I'm having my head around him. I wish I'd brought my gloves. Nice to be out of that shithole, finally. I was starting to think the boss was all talk. It's Caesar! That's it. We're clear. Probably a lure to the others. Can't be helped. Come on. There, on the mountain. Here come the others. There's a big truck parked out front. We'll keep our eyes open. We'd better. We'd walk right off a cliff. You do have a sense of humor. Would have preferred a head start over a sob. Not much we can do. Besides, doesn't matter who starts, only who finishes. See that? Looks like another faucet. Let's find a way up. Follow me. Good. Good to be clear. Let's press on. Just what I was going to say. <laughs> Look, I'm opening that gate. Perfect. That should do it. Definitely. Figured you'd want to take the easy way over.
Beg your pardon? Doing all right? I'm fine. Just don't get started without me. Sure. Wouldn't dream of it. Okay, guess this isn't the way in. Oh, there you are, having fun. Just like the monkey bars in primary school. I'd say this looks safer than the playground at my school. Oh, nearly there. Wait, I'm impressed. You're impressed. I'm tired. Let's get this done. All right. I'm guessing it'll be a bow this time. Good guess. This one's a bit trickier. Sharama. Right. Let's turn the water on. Well, well. What's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. <laughs> Here we go. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. It's two out of three now. Ross and I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. What? Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. <laughs> well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand, on the outskirts of Halabadu. That's... pretty funny. Last stop. The fort embedded in that mountain. That'll be the one with the axe. At least your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mum's. Let's find a way to get back down to the car. Sounds good. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is open now.
one by the mountain left. In. Makes more sense why a sword's after the tusk now. Figured he just wanted money. Like us. He'll use it to rally people to his cause. Wavered in the government's face. Just like all the other times. This has happened before? Oh yeah. Ever since the young king lost to the Persians, everyone's wanted to lay claim to it, to this land. Here I thought we were just going on a treasure hunt. We are. Let men like Asav fight over it. It's none of our concern. Fighting wars was my concern for a time. Good point. But you did it for the cash. Usually. What about when you worked for Asav? <laughs> Definitely a cash grab. Hardly worth the trouble. Ouch. Why do it then? Needed to establish my rep, eh? Figured I'd stop with the worst of the bunch. Nowhere to go but up after that. Beautiful out here. One sec. Where were we? Anyway, like I was saying, beautiful out here. Is this your first visit to India? Yeah. Not a lot of perks in this line of work, but travel is definitely one of them. Where have you been? Ah, uh, where haven't I been? Whichever question works for you. Well, I haven't been to the States. Really? Yeah, well, the stuff I'm looking for is usually old, right? The US was only founded a couple of hundred years ago. True. What about you? Where do you want to go? Iceland. Nice choice. Beautiful there. Well, it's quiet. I'm spoiled. And I want... Oh. Incredible. You got that right. Want a closer look? Sure. <laughs> Magnificent. How long do you suppose it takes to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. The Hoi Salah certainly did have a knack for stonework. And the war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. Pity it didn't last. Their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving is an exact match for this disc. So what does that mean? I don't know. But we found two symbols, so let's head back out and find the last one. Copy that. Let's roll. Okay, so we were talking about... So as I was saying, well, it's quiet, unspoiled. And I want to see those northern lights. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's on the bucket list, too. You should go when we're done here. Someday. Have other things to attend to first.
Over there, in that cliff wall. See that archway? Looks intact. You coming with? I feel like stretching my legs. Right, Eo. <clears throat> what is this place? You got me. Fraser, over here. Look. What? What is it? Monkeys. You seem excited. I like monkeys. Looks like there's something in the structure there. Yeah, monkeys. Besides monkeys. I don't see a way across. Neither do I. 